and welcome to part 8 of Blender 2.6, The Basics. In this video, we're going to be talking all about how to add colors and materials to objects in Blender. Now, of course, when we're working in a 3D environment, we're not just thinking about plain colors. Objects in 3D, like in the real world, have properties like being shiny or dull or rough or smooth or bumpy. They can be transparent or they can be reflective or mirrored or they can even glow. So we'll be talking about a few of those things in this video and how to assign multiple materials or multiple colors to the same object. Uh, before we get started though, I'm going to click on my splash screen to get rid of it and I'll turn on my screencast key so you can see what I am pressing. Let's go ahead and make the mouse cursor and text a little bit bigger. And so the way you add a material to an object or a mesh in Blender is over here in the properties window and you have to have the mesh selected of course and when you do you're gonna see this round shiny orb tab and this is the materials tab in Blender if I click on it I can see what material is on my currently selected mesh and by default this cube already has a material which is called just material and it's gray and it's a little bit shiny and that's pretty much all I can say about it I go ahead and press delete to get rid of my cube and I'm going to add a new fresh cube by going shift A for the add menu and selecting mesh cube. This mesh has no materials on it so let's go ahead under the materials tab and press new and it makes kind of the same gray shiny material and to change the color of it well color basically means diffuse. Diffuse is the kind of light rays that transmit color. This white box or almost white box is the color picker and if I click on it I can use the color picker to choose a color. I'll choose something like red and move my mouse out of it and that puts this kind of shiny red color on my cube. This material is called material.001 and I'm going to give it a better name. I'm going to call it red01 and there we go. If I don't want the red to be this shiny or more shiny I can go under the specular heading uh, and specular basically means shininess and I can turn it down by turning down the intensity and that'll make it look totally matte or totally dull or I could turn it up to make it look very intensely shiny and then if I want to make it look more let's say washed out in terms of how shiny it is I can turn the hardness down or if I want to make it look more like a billiards ball or a bowling ball I can keep turning this hardness up and that'll make my object look very kind of polished so that's adding colors to objects. If I have more than one object in my scene, of course, uh, well, let's go ahead and add that. Let's go ahead and add a cone. I can add a new material to this cone, or I can add the same material again. Um, there's right now no material on the cone, but if I press this little button next to the new button, it lets me choose from my list or my library of existing materials. Of course, I made red 01, and the original material that was on that first default cube was just called material and it was gray so I could select red 01 and then it would have the same material and of course because these two objects are using the same material if I change it on one of them it'll change both so that's important to know a neat little thing that most beginners don't know is that there's a number that'll tell you how many objects are using the material and that number is right next to the material name. This number two shows me that I have two objects using the same material. If I want to add a different material to one of the objects, I can click on the X, which doesn't delete the material, it just removes it from the current object, and then I can press new, and I can give it a, I'm not sure why that preview is still showing green, that's interesting. Oh, uh, there we go, it was just a little bug. Let's go ahead and make this uh, material kind of an orange material or orange color and let's make it totally not shiny and to make it glow a little bit or make it a little bit brighter I can turn up the intensity uh, all the way I can also turn up this emit value emit kind of means glow although this glow by default does not affect other objects so it won't light other objects with kind of an orange light that will be for a future video um, but this will as you can see if I turn it up the orange pretty much becomes entirely orange. If I want it to be just this this orange color without any shading whatsoever, I can click on this shade list text box and that's if I want to like have something that looks not 3D in my 3D environment, but I'm not gonna choose that. Um, adding multiple colors to the same object is also very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this cone. 
and we'll stick with just this cube, the way you can add multiple materials to the same object is by applying a material specifically to a group or a single face on your object. So for this we need to go into edit mode, so I'll press tab, and I'll go into face select mode. Now let's look at the top of this, this properties window under the materials tab. You'll see that we have one material on this object. We have red one which is now green. Let's go ahead and turn it back to red actually. Uh, we have this one material called red one which is red on the cube. If I need or want more materials on this mesh, I have to make more slots in this sort of section, and these slots can hold more materials. To make a new slot, I'm going to press the plus button, and that makes an empty slot, and I can add a material that already exists to this slot, or I can make a new material. I could choose material.001, which I forgot to name, but let's go ahead and add a new material, and I'll name it uh, green01 and I'll make it green, go figure, and I'll turn down the specularness so it's totally dull. Now to apply this material to a face or faces on the cube, I need to select the faces that I want to have it on, and then select the material from the list. You'll notice that when I select a face, it selects the material that's on that face. So if I want to make this face green, I have to click on the material, and then press assign, and that will make that face green. Back in object mode, you can see that only that face is green. Let's go ahead and go back into edit mode, and let's make another slot, and let's make a new material in that slot, and I'm going to make this color yellow and totally dull, and maybe we'll make this one a little bit glowy, so I'll type in 0 0.5, and let's go ahead and name it yellow uh, 0 01, and we'll select the top face and we'll press or click on the material itself and press assign. Let's go ahead and make a couple more. I'll select this back face. We'll make a new uh, slot. We'll make a new material to put in that slot. And I'll choose blue, maybe a lighter blue actually, more of an aqua color. Let's turn down the uh, specularness. Let's turn up the intensity. Let's make it glow a little bit more this time. And let's press assign with that material selected and now we have a blue. Last one, let's go ahead and select this back face and let's uh, make a new material. Uh, so we'll press this, or new, new slot rather, and let's press new. And what color don't we have yet? We don't have a pink color. So let's go ahead and add pink. Let's make it shiny and kind of polished looking like a bowling ball. Let's turn up the emit value a little bit and I think I'll leave it at that. And let's press uh, assign uh, with that uh, material selected or in the list selected. And I'll go back into object mode and that's how you add multiple materials to the same object. It's important to note that when you have multiple objects and you're using, let's go ahead and add a cone again. If you're using the same material on multiple objects, let's go ahead and select this um, red 01 color. You're going to see a number next to it, and this number will tell you how many objects or how many users are using this material. Uh, if I have a material that's the same as on another object, of course, and I change it to something else, it'll change on the original too. But if I don't want the original to change, if I want to now make this its own version of red and maybe tweak it a little bit, if I click on the 2, it'll get rid of that number 2 and it made a new copy of that material. So I can name this now red 2 and I can change it and I'll make it, let's say, a little bit darker and a little bit more orangey and it's now different than the original red. And so now on my list I have a red 1 and a red 2. So that's adding materials and colors in Blender. Uh, you can explore this, uh, kind of the properties of materials even more. You'll find mirroring and transparency, and I'll leave it up to you to play with those values. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.